Hello everyone! Welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on the Blurner Gaming Channel. We are going to start off with a JRPG by Bandai Namco called Tales of Vesperia. This initially came out on Xbox in 2009, um, Xbox 360, I'm sorry, in 2009. And, oh frick, hold on. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be the title sequence. <laughs> I wish it would let me have more time to talk, so I'm just going to press A. Yeah, that should be good. Um, This game initially came out in 2009. For the Xbox 360. That's while... And just for the Xbox 360. Not for, like, the PS3 or, um the Wii or whatever specifically 2009 for the Xbox 360 it is an awesome game the only issue is it actually did not sell well enough initially because in Japan because it only came out for Xbox 360 and yes only for Xbox 360 it wasn't ported to like the PS3 in instantly um it flopped kind of and so, something like that never happened again. Until they re-released it with a couple additional features, which are in this version for the PS3, which includes a brand new party member, one character who is now in your party a lot more, and a few more extra things. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I should probably configure that. <laughs> Let's see. Normal on. Normal, normal. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Start again. Our world. Terka Lumeres. Nearly every team no game starts out like this. No one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. Barriers protect the cities in which we live, and we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. These barriers are generated by the Blastia. The Blastia use the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire prosper. monsters lying in wait just beyond the barriers the blessings of the blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people Just like every RPG game, it starts off with a simple mission and it's probably gonna is going to escalate into taking on a god. Oh no. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not good. Bedrock of peace, we pray, may tranquility bless this world.
I'm guessing this guy's the main character because he doesn't look generic. <laughs> of course I know that because I've played the game before. Oh, look at the doggy. This is not good. Oh, yep, he's main character. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Look, the aqua blast is broken. Oh, yeah, again. um, Yuri is voiced by, um, Troy Baker. In case you're wondering what, um, who's why that kind of sounds familiar. Um, and the yellow and the blonde haired, um, knight you saw it's, it's voiced by Sam Regal. I just found that out recently, so. That's funny. And they just finished fixing it. What's the big Same deal? Regal, I'm sorry. Just leave it to the mighty that. Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. What about the heroic Flynn? <coughs> the the blonde knight I was talking about earlier. I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him. Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that. Come on! We're short on people! Ted! Ted! You get down here! They need your help, too! Oh, I'll, I'll be there in a sec! Yuri, come on already! That's weird. He always comes running whenever there's trouble. This place is gonna become an aquarium soon if this keeps up. The Imperial Capital, Cepheus. Why is it called that? I don't know. Oh, it's a dog gonna help? Oh! Yuri! <laughs> To point out the tail series, which there's, I'm gonna list off some games in case you don't like why does it sound familiar, like Tales of Laconia, Tales of Arise, which is the most <clears throat> recent release. I've been dealing with a cold a little bit, so that's why I was kind of holding off and recording this a little bit. Um, Tales of the Abyss. Um. Tales of Seria, Tales of Bizaria. I'll try to think of more later. But Tales, but some of those are like the more recognize, recognizable ones. And each game has this little thing called um, skits. I'm gonna not show you guys all of them, but here's one now. First, the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the Aqua Blastia breaks. Why does stuff like this happen every day in the lower quarter? Urgh. I know, I know. There's no use whining about it. Urgh. The Aqua Blastia broke, huh? No surprise there, they only let us have, a, have old beat up Blastia here in the lower quarter. So obviously this is like, maybe the poor side of down. Hey. We've got to see it off somehow! What's going on? Are you sucking treasure down there? Yeah, oh god! <laughs> Well, looks like that blue-blooded mage we hired to fix the blast deal left the job half done. Glad you can find the time to stop by, Yuri. Take it easy with the water sports, old man. You're not getting any younger. You're up next. Not afraid of a little water, I hope. Yikes. Come on now, put your backs into it. Hey, whoa! Things is really going at it. He feels responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. And now he's the one who's all wet. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bed repair job, though. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. Probably think about... What happened to the Blastia? 
who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the Blastia, right? That's right, a Mr. Mordio. And he lives in the Royal Quarter? Yeah, so? Forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. Hey, wait just a minute! Hey. You're not seriously thinking of going to Mr. Mordio's place, are you? The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. Because... Damn it, Yuri! Just because you can do a few tricks Sorry. with that body blast you, you think you're invincible. Except not you got a trippy finger. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, he's he probably just seems to crazy. cause problems when the lower quarter's involved. Even the knights have started keeping an eye on him. Well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure he'll be fine. Now we're going to go further up into the city and try to find this Mr. Mordio guy. And as you kind of notice, like everything's come chill up here a bit more than what's going on down there, actually. The Imperial and Knights are so cool. I'm going to be a knight when I grow up. Well, that's timely. So. Check, wine, check. Did I forget anything? Ah, such a lovely day for stopping. You there! You there! Are you aware of the serious events going on in the world? Over here, right here, I'm the Wonder Reporter, bringing you the articles about what matters most every day. Do you read the newspaper in the morning? Cup of coffee? Donut? What? You don't? That just won't do. What epic thing has transpired today? You'll never believe it! You can read it whenever, wherever, and with no effort at all! Yes, it's the Wonder Log! Put it to good use! And by Wonder the way, log, eh? let's let the fact that I'm in the wall be our little secret, okay? Well then, farewell! Huh? With the Wonder Log, you can access the synopsis. Via the library from the menu. Okay, that's good. I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is the upper quarter. Hey, you hear about the Blastia in the lower quarter? Yes, I heard something about it breaking and them collecting money to fix it. That's right. I hear that lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasures, sir? <sighs> Worthless junk. Nothing more. They wouldn't have gotten more than one gold for them. Not Jeez. even one gold? I can't imagine what sort of treasures those would have to be. I'd like to have a look myself. I'm telling you, nothing but junk. <laughs> Listen to those guys. Poor Hanks. Can't really argue with them about the junk thing, though. What the? Who's there? <laughs> Who's gonna win? One rock or two beefy men? Looks like it's a rock. If you can't understand the value of junk, you're worth less than junk yourself. Repeat, can you find the trail? Oh yeah, before I forget, um... So they've been taking Blastia cores from here too. Looks like somebody's got some sticky fingers. Before I forget, now that it's stopped, I do want to point out, just a definitive addition to that a lot of stuff, they supposedly didn't get Troy Baker back. I'm going to have to look it up to see who they got to do um, supplemental, like, extra lines. Troy said he was interested. I don't know if, like, he just used a different name for like union reasons 
Because I hear that can be somewhat of a thing. Because I... There's like a bunch of different like rumors or whatever. Like it was supposed to come out for PS3 in the West. It never did initially. Because a lot of the definitive edition stuff from that is added in... Is included with the... From the... Okay, I'm sorry. From the 2013 version... I think it was 2013. It came out a couple years afterwards for the PS3 in Japan. With additional features. And those are in this game, basically. Sorry. It got a little bit tongue-tied. <laughs> That's the royal quarter for you. A few blasts. I'm going to look at the missing. rest no one of the cast because I think that might have been the case. Like I think Troy has said in like a Q and A session that he did record extra lines for what would be the 2012 version, the additional version, the standard version, whatever that would be for the PS3, but that never came to fruition in US, so we don't know. If it's actually him or not, but there's like another guy listed for some of the lines. This kept Troy's lines and for sure did it do someone else for Gary for like some additional stuff. So when just one is enough to throw the lower quarter into chaos, I think I, I don't know about spare. anyone else. To give us some. But like I have kind of played through this game before. I kind of recall lines that weren't dubbed before that are dubbed, and no one sounds the same, basically. So. They just hired some non-union actors because Found they probably it. couldn't afford the VAs anymore. Looks like the nobles are living the sweet life <coughs> as usual. The lower quarter is right there. They still don't give a damn. It's not their loss, so what do they care? They should act, you know, noble. <laughs> not just dress nice and hide in their mansions. <laughs> Let's check this out. So this is where he lives. Doesn't seem like there's anyone around. I wonder if there's any other way in. Gee, I wonder if there's a cracked window. Oh, is it open? Can I get in this way? I know Mordio is hiding here somewhere. I feel like I shouldn't be running. Alright, there's got to be at least an open window around here somewhere. One open, what to do? That must be Who's the person going around stealing stuff? Found him. You were Mordio, right? The blast they need isn't in there. What the? The Blastia core is gone. Let's go and get that core back and give that mage a whooping while we're at it. Oh God. Yuri, so it is you who are the cause of all this commotion. I know he's poor, but breaking into an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen. Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. <laughs> Just what I is a Tweedle anyway? <laughs> oh my god, they both react. Okay, sorry, Jobber 1 and There's Jobber no 2. There's no hope of escape. We've got you surrounded. I'm guessing this might be my first battle. 
Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just say that! Oh. I say, you take that back! There's a lot of good lines in this game. Enough beating around the bush, I guess. Also, look at the way he threw that sword. Let me see, unseaf that sword. That was Stand amazing. Back, Autocore. I'll handle this in the name of the Imperial Knights. I say. I, I just want to say it doesn't look like the helmet Knights. fits either one of you guys. Peons, I say, should stand back. You're the peon. No, no, I say. I am your superior. I appreciate the sentiment, guys, but let's cut the cat fight and get on with it. Control set to semi auto mode during this battle. Move forward with left stick, left to right, jump with X plus each. Target nearest enemy using RB, change your target with the left stick while holding RB, right button. Move toward target an enemy using left, right stick. Yep. Usually using left trigger and left stick. Okay, let's go. You ready? I am your superior! Nay, focus. You are, I say, clearly my subordinate. I guess I just gotta whack these guys a little. Form regular attack with B. Form attack with B while moving with left trigger. You all may switch to me. You hit while moving, but... Ha! That hurt! Okay. Oh! There, how'd that make you feel? How dare <coughs> you! Hitting someone in the middle of an argument is hardly proper manners! Didn't you hear me when I said, you ready? <laughs> or were you not listening? Damn it! Oh, oh brother. Uh, you... Stop right there! Does it oh my god, is he gonna right? have, like, a heart attack? You! Be quiet! <laughs> Oops, time for a little defense. Use X to guard against attack. He blocked my attack! I say Sonic Thrust! Whoa, come on, give me a break. Ooh! I say how dare you block my art! Man, you need to calm down. If you can use strike arts here, then I can too. Warm arch attack for A! As your arch! Let's try that again. This next one's gonna hurt. Inform combo by using attack for all these arts. Hey, okay. Ah, oh, you're not giving up already, are you? Ah, I say, Imperial Knights never give up. You have yet to see our true power. This next time's for real, guys. It's my line, line, I say. I think, yeah, I have magic plans. Magic Lens is uh, basically allows you to see how much HP, all their stats basically. And there's actually an achievement for using Magic Lens on literally everything. Ha! You're dead! That's it! Sonic Thrust! That's your rage! I'm gonna use it on the other guy, um, Baco. And there's his stat. The of the night. And now that that's there, I can use the RB buttons know how much HP these guys have left. Oh, that's not good. Shoot. As you see, the combat is kind of like Soul Calibur kind of meets like Final Fantasy a little bit. And Baku is almost out of- Ooh, fuck. Out of HP. Oh, fucking right. Come on, die. That's one down. No, keep the other guy. I say, this is not good. I say, Sonic The TP is how much um stuff you, you can use for me. like. I'm giving you some extra practice. Special moves like Azure Edge, which I just did. I mean, arts basically. There's 
various kinds of arts, essentially. Come on, guys. You can do better than that, can't you? <coughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the cavalry. Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. How typical of the Schwan Brigade. They can't even manage to capture a single lowlife. Captain Cumor? I say, our apologies for this unsightly display. I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you, lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Repeat, running off with the bag. There he is. <laughs> I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. <laughs> well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for a while. Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you've finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Oh, this must happen a lot. <laughs> Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. Oh, God. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, Bob. The Dark Wings are going nuts looking for the hideout. You mean the Thieves' Guild? <clears throat> that's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. Hey, <coughs> neighbor, you're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. <laughs> sure you do, old man. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Want to know about the Pirate Guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower quarter oh, will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. And what am I going to do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars? Oh, do you know about him? Oh, want to know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. The famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars, right? I think I got it. Well, wait, that's not it. He's the, uh... The head of the Gourmet Guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean... Looks like you weren't, you revealed too much information, buddy. Oh, he's... Oh. Out. Oh, well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. I think he snuck him a key. Yep. I did say I was looking for a way out of here. Prison key acquired. But you look at that, it opened. Looking smiling like Ever that. Ever vigilant as usual. 
With the way he's sleeping, it'll be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. If I come back before morning, I'll never be wiser to my little jailbreak. I think I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. It'll probably be good to try that statue of the goddess, too. With that, we are at a save point, and we are, as you guys can see, I'm, I've kind of played through this before. I decided to um, stop and go through this again. With that, we're going to stop right here, and you'll, and you see more in the next one. See you guys then.